A two-year-old renovation is complete, and the new South Lake Worth Inlet sand transfer plan is now operational. News Channel 5's Vince Norman explains why shifting the sand is necessary. Originally excavated in 1925 to flush the Lake Worth Lagoon, the South Lake Worth Inlet used a sand transfer plant to keep the waterway clear of sand and debris. It was the first one of its kind in the country, so we're kind of due for an upgrade. That upgrade was unveiled today. The ribbon cut. <laughs> the sand begins to flow. The new sand plant is intended to overcome the, uh, the sand losses that an inlet creates. The pump provides a crucial service to the inlet, pumping sand from the north down to the south side of the inlet where sand tends to erode more quickly. See the boom that's down in the water that's actually picking up the sand, sucks up the sand, pumps it through a pipe that goes underneath the inlet, that pipe resurfaces on the south side of the inlet, hits the beach, goes back into the beach system. The old station was retired after more than 70 years of service. Now electricity powers the pump, an eco-friendly alternative to diesel. More fuel efficient, less costly to run, should have a longer life expectancy. The advances in technology provided by the recent upgrade make the system much cleaner, but also more of a challenge to protect. This is built more like a lighthouse to withstand storms, 10-inch thick concrete to house it. That's really more of the challenge of building a structure like that that can withstand hurricanes and still be cost effective. Vince Norman, WPTV, News Channel 5.